hello my lovelies welcome back to this channel i hope you're doing great i hope you have an amazing day the same as i do and today we are going to discuss one house which i'm personally so excited about it's odd fragrance company hfc and they are becoming the most exciting house for me to discuss they are just amazing okay the perfumes are amazing i'm so much in love with many of them i so much want to buy the big bottles of many of them you will see bottles they sell they are masterpieces they're exceptional they're so beautiful they're so feminine they are ooh, something to wish for for your collection so without further ado let's go for it <music> Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell like this. You will be the first to know when I'm releasing the new video. And we will start with the first perfume from the collection I want to talk about. And it's called Divine Blossom. You see the bottle and this is not the real packaging of the full size bottle. Uh, you, I will show it uh, when we will talk about main accords very soon. It is the travel sizes. You will see that I was buying the Discovery collection from the brand. So it's a big gifting set that I purchased back a uh, few months ago to discover many of them. And they are all were such a good discoveries. So I said today we are talking about the perfumes from the house. I will introduce you many. It's not all of them because I have a lot. So let's go with Divine Blossom. Divine Blossom have the main accords of sweet citrus, vanilla, fruity, musky, powdery, white floral, ambery, woody, and warm, spicy perfume. Now you can see the packaging of it. Uh, like it looks amazing it's and it's even better in the life because like one thing is on the picture but in life it's a really fantastic experience so this one have the top notes of exotic fruits orange and almond tree as well as middle notes of orange blossom tonka bean and blue lotus and in the base you have musk vanilla amber wood sandalwood and cacao this is strong woody perfume okay this is only for the ones who uh, love wood and wood is very particular note not everyone loves it so you need to be aware of it but this is the wood which is done in the way which is very provocative I think this is combination of the tonka bean and olive tree, which gives it. Yes, you can see also the mandarin there, the orange, like these kind of notes. And yeah, it is very strong, very projecting, heavy, strong perfume. You need to dare to wear something like this. I would say it's for lady vamp kind of perfume. If you feel within yourself this character, I would imagine like the dark hair brunette with the big lips, which are rouge in quite open dress. Like this is kind of character it is given. Yeah, you need to be this kind of vampy woman to wear something like this. Divine Blossom. Next one is most probably the most favorite perfume for me from all the collection. I am in love with this one. I wear it so much. No, there are many that I love, okay? But this one will be totally in the top three most probably and it's Nirvanescu. this is how it's called Nirvanescu. i will show you the packaging as well this is the most beautiful leather perfume you can find this is very smooth sexy warm spicy sweet leather so the main accords are amber vanilla warm spicy leather sweet woody rum balsamic powdery and musky This is so good. I don't love leather perfumes. They are very challenging for me. It's difficult for me to wear. Like that seems to me more masculine, more strong and uh, like, I don't like it, I don't know. But this one is, oh, it's so good. 
it's so good it's so good i don't know how not many people are talking about it because i oh no i think i saw demi talking about this perfume and this perfume is only sex it's for men and women and i think she was more talking about this one for men but i love to wear it do i look like masculine woman no it is super feminine so you have rome you have mirt you have davana and leather cashmere and then uh, vanilla tonka bean mask benzoil and also wood i love this perfume just for me it smells so expensive so luxurious and like the most beautiful sweet leather near Vanisque from um, this brand like I love it. I want a full bottle. It's amazing. Next one I love as well. And this is Wrap Me In My Dreams. I have actually this one also in the form of the body lotion, which goes so well together. Like uh, I economize a little bit this perfume because like I want many from the house, but I don't want to buy all of them at the same time. They're like, it's a niche perfume, so they're quite expensive. Oh, but wrap me in my dreams, it's so beautiful. I also like the naming of these perfumes because they are much more creative rather than uh, all the rest that I see. Like they try to give directly the vibe of the perfume with the name, which I love. So this one is Sweetie Cherry Powdery Vanilla Woody Fruity Rum Perfume. It is super spicy, it's also nutty, and this is like it has such a beautiful cherry accord you remember i love cherry perfumes this is one of the notes which is preferred for me so from the top notes you will have cherry rum dry fruits also like cherry rum dry fruits three of them is perfect combo tonka bean woody patchouli and powder notes vanilla musky peony oh my god oh my god this is amazing this is masterpiece and they have many masterpieces in uh, their collection please 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 if you have a chance just a chance imagine you are passing by you're visiting i don't know paris or whatever because it's french it's french based if you pass by and you see this beautiful bottle somewhere go and grab them grab this one wrap me in my dreams grab this one which is nirvanisky just experience it because it's magical their perfumes are magical it is niche perfumes which i believe are mass pleasing which is very rare you don't see this happening and like they are so good, they are so good. Next one is Diamond in the Sky. This is how the travel packaging will look like for you. And this one for me is a dupe of Baccarat Rouge. For me, it smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. They give very different explanation of what it is inside. So woody, caramelly, amber, warm, spicy, sweet, vanilla, powdery, balsamic, fruity, metallic notes. Look at the packaging look at this packaging i want this packaging like i have baccarat rouge but only for the packaging i want this one so this one for me smells a lot like baccarat rouge and uh, you will see also why if we go to the note caramel chafran wild berries the key one which you feel is chafran and then cashmere wood white woods vanilla balsam vanilla talu balsam which i never met before in the notes amber and moss Bacara Rouge, Bacara Rouge, uh, direct dupe. Like, it doesn't mean that it is bad. This one is also like uh, less expensive than real Bacara Rouge, Rouge Extra. So you can absolutely go and buy it because this is direct dupe. Smells exactly the same. I uh, cannot comment now on longevity and projection if it's the same beast mod as Bacara Rouge or Bacara Rouge Extra. But yeah, it's the same kind of vibe, again, like beautiful perfume, you know Baccarat Rouge, it's a masterpiece and so on. And the fact that they can actually reproduce it and make it as good as Baccarat Rouge, it's amazing. My uploads only to them. Yeah, it's very uh, like loved and famous profile, I would understand why they would do it. So it's very sweet. Uh, here they say it's... Um, Caramel, which is giving sweetness, but you feel the caramel is burnt sugar in the thing with some milk. So you feel the same burnt sugar kind of wipe as you have in Baccarat Rouge plus chafran. So you, you get your 
performance. Next one is Dancing Queen and this is the packaging of the Dancing Queen from this brand. I love the names guys like they're so good with the names. Again look at the packaging you have this beautiful kind of ballerina somewhere in the air. Floral, fruity, rosy, fresh, musky, sweet, animalic, aquatic perfume. For me this is very much rose, like if you love rose, this one will grab your heart totally. So you have black currant, pear and rose, and then in the middle nose, peony, rose and jasmine, and musk uh, and uh, wood in the top. They love wood in this uh, brand. You see that, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. The perfumes are so good. It's so rare that you go one by one and so on and you love all of them. <sighs> Beautiful, young, fresh rose with some aquatic fruity accords. But so fresh, like I have a feeling that I opened the doors to the rose garden after the rain like this is how it smells <sighs> amazing i don't know how they're doing it i don't know how they're doing it it is soon becoming my <laughs> preferred house they're amazing their products are amazing they're wow so winter delight uh, like i have it only in the candle format i don't know if they have perfume like this or not but the smell of this candle is amazing it is ginger and cinnamon on the top, tonka bean, honey and nutmeg on the uh, middle note and vanilla brown sugar and roasted almond on the bottom. <laughs> it smells so good. It smells how the notes are. I just read them. You can imagine how delicious it is. I have a feeling that I have fantastic nutty cookies with cinnamon uh, in front of me which is just out of the oven and i will eat it now next to the christmas tree this is uh, how it smells like winter delight i wish they would have it in the format of perfume because it's so good i think i've been to i've been to their site and you can check the site as well you can see all these beautiful bottles but i I don't think that they have a perfume like this, but it should be a perfume. It's so good. Next one is Proposal from the brand. And this one, you see it's Proposal. And you see like this is half empty. I have this 7.5 milliliter tester from the brand and it's half empty. And I tell you it's half empty because it's so good. It's powdery, fruity, vanilla, almond, musky, woody, floral and sweet iris perfume. They mixed all the notes which I love. Just listen to the combination. Sweet almond, lychee, black currant, bergamot on the top. Giliatrop, black tea. I love tea. G dried fruits, I love dried fruits, jasma, Italian jasma, white mask, iris, tonka bean, wood, vanilla and patchouli. Like these guys are genius, <laughs> just geniuses. How you can mix all the most beautiful notes in one and get something like this. This is very powdery, very irisy, but in the same time sweet. And also with the tonka, with almond, with lychee, it's airy, but sweet, but having the different dimensions on it you know like i enjoy wearing it so much this most probably will be one of the first one that i will uh, buy and this is also in this top three um of the top that i was talking about uh, next to nirvana which is amazing <sighs> like it is shedever it is so good it's so amazing i don't know how women are not going mad for these perfumes because like they have something that women desire. They make you feel, it's called proposal. You see the packaging of it with the lady. It's like you feel yourself this nice, beautiful princess uh, who just got the proposal when you're wearing this perfume. And the names, the names, they are so picky with the names and exactly they pick the names of how the perfume makes you feel like this feels like a proposal this feels like a perfect perfume of a perfect fiance who just got her diamond ring amazing amazing next one is indian venus and this one i was wearing during the last weekend and i immediately was spotted by julian who told me what are you wearing it's so good it's so 
attention grabbing. It's so intriguing. So this is the Indian Venus and it's woody sweet white floral musky powdery amber um, um, animalic perfume. And if you go to the notes, you will see that there are woody notes on the top with orange blossom, then sandalwood and uh, white flowers cedar in the base and brown sugar woody notes and musk. This perfume is another one in my top, but you see like how many tops I have from this brand. It's like soft, it's warm, it's very fluffy, it's also airy in the same time because of the musk beautiful fragrance you absolutely instantly fall in love with this one as well it's subtle it's to any occasion and uh, it's uh, gender neutral i would say but gender neutral leaning feminine very high quality very feminine to my like okay i can imagine men wearing it but for me it's more feminine perfume and it's like unique experience it's really like their perfumes are unique they you don't have like except except for this diamond in the sky all the rest you don't have a dupe i never met anything which smells like this they are pretty unique and i love this i just love it next one is called wear love everywhere also please just look at the packaging it's amazing so i don't have perfume of this one i have shower gel shower gel which is called wear love everywhere and the key accords are rose powdery vanilla floral musky sweet soft spicy woody violet perfume this is very elegant for me this subtle and maybe for the warmer weather it's sweet scent it's fruity it's very feminine and for the people who like feminine perfumes it's also like it's gave a feeling i don't know if it is because it is done in the form of uh, shower gel i don't know how it is in the form of perfume but it doesn't smell like it will be anyhow overwhelming it sounds like uh love uh, wear love everywhere but it's also give the thing that if you can wear it everywhere it's like good for everyday use so from the top notes you have rose pink paper and red berries i feel red berries on the top it's so funny you would absolutely feel these red berries on the top and then rose magnolia geranium the violet and iris here it's also like it's very prominent that there is iris and violet flowers and then you have vanilla uh, musk sandalwood amber in the base what can i say another goodie another goodie like this brand is challenging for me it's challenging for me because of how it's good like uh, whatever i tell you uh, that they're amazing love at first sight they're so good so next one is red iceberg red iceberg perfume and i will i didn't wear this one actually during any day it's uh like so citrus white floral sweet yellow floral woody perfume <laughs> guys if you like citrusy perfumes i'm sure you will love this one so it has bergamot orange it has orange blossom langalang patchouli and amber cedar and musk the fact that there is musk is giving you the feeling that it will become much more airy with the wear now it is quite heavy on patchouli and quite heavy on bergamot both together making it this combination which is pretty endless and uh, pretty like yeah it's for any kind of age and this is timeless kind of perfume combination this one most probably the less unique out of all of them because i believe i smelled quite a lot of dna's of such a perfume but it's good as well like it's also good I cannot say anything bad about <laughs> this perfume. It's also good if you like citrusy, if you like freshy, if you like patchouli in your perfume mixed with citrusy and freshness, this one you would also love. Next one is the most green perfume from everything um, that we saw today. If you like greeny perfumes, uh, pay attention. So this one called party on the moon and the key accords are citrusy green woody musky powdery azonic fresh spicy white floral aquatic fresh so you can see the packaging again like it's such a beautiful packaging how do you have it i have party in the moon also as a shower gel and this one i used a lot like i love the freshness that uh, it's giving and this is also like 
green tea based perfume i love green tea so this is for the ones who love really black tea strong realistic note imagine you are smelling a uh, black tea from your cup like you will smell exactly this here so the top notes are bergamot mandarin and violet leaf it's violet leaf it's not violet nothing to do with violet it's really freshness greenness of violet leaf black tea jasmine cedar and musk sandalwood and amber it's super fresh it's for the people who like tea fragrances and for the people who love tea fragrances which are more unisex leaning masculine leaning so there is no sweetness in this perfume zero sweetness there is only freshness only citrusiness and only greenliness so if you like this combination uh, like great uh, party in the moon is for you again beautifully done i prefer it and i would not buy the perfume of this one because this is not my cup of tea i love green perfumes but when they're done and black perfumes but when they're done with the sweetness in it like uh, then i miss this sweetness uh, or i might have this one with layering with imagine baccarat rouge layered with this one i'm sure this will be good but uh, yeah a beautiful perfume just like not my perfume profile but done beautifully beautifully golden fever next one golden fever this is the packaging another perfume for uh, lady vamp another perfume for strong women this one is the most challenging perfume from all the perfumes we talked about from the brand and this is green uh, yellow floral powdery patchouli aromatic balsamic sweet woody warm spicy perfume i would say this is another combination which most probably will be called as timeless so this is very classic perfume okay if you uh, don't like the new modern directions which perfumery is uh, getting into this one most probably you will like from the notes you have galbanum never met in any perfumes this note galbanum young uh, ilang ilang black pepper you feel black pepper because immediately it's uh, it's doing something picky with your nose narcissium uh, Jasma Turkish Rose, Patchouli Powder, Brown Sugar Mask and Wood in the Base. Strong perfume for people who love combination of patchouli and wood. This is super long lasting. This is super strong on your skin. I still uh, try to understand at which occasion I can wear this one. It's called Golden Fever again like the name have something in it the name tell you everything and yeah yeah uh i would say most difficult for me to imagine on myself because of how strong patchouli heavy woody heavy it is i would say that if i would be the woman from the middle east I might love it immediately because this is their kind of scent of profile. This is something that this woman, uh, like from Middle East, who are beautiful women uh, with uh, no any exception nearly, but I feel that they love this kind of perfumes. And the last one is actually perfume for men, and it's called Lover Man. Lover Man. So this is not for women, this is for men. The Kia Corza, warm spicy woody, amber cacao, citrusy wood, fresh spicy perfume. This is like very strong and very rich smelling. You have myrt, bergamot, chafran on the top, cacao, spicy nut and maracan cedar on the base, and then wood and cashmere on the, um, on the bottom yeah ah. ah very good one it's very classy perfume and also very woody perfume ah, i can see why it's called lover man this is yeah like i can imagine that casanova will wear <laughs> something like this to seduce women uh, right left and center and this is how it smells uh, like uh, i think i will give it to julian to try on him and try to wear why not uh yeah 
It smells very good actually, so I, I will ask him to try and wear this one and if I have new news about how it's wearing, like what are the reactions and stuff, I will absolutely share with you as well. Hello my lovelies, my camera went off, it's clear sign for me that I need to stop filming. So I hope you like the review, I hope you see how beautiful is this house. We will talk so much more about High Fragrance Company because it's amazing. I have uh, not talked about all the perfumes I want to discover more and tell you more. But for now, let's stop it here. I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, click the notification bell and I so much wish you fantastic day. Bye bye my dears.